Hey guys, this is Crystal. Um, I'm starting to do these spring looks, and um, I hope you guys like it. They're like spring break inspired. <clears throat> I figured I'd do a voiceover. I didn't plan on it. Sorry, I was laying down in my bed and got up. <laughs> but um, this is really cool. This is the Look Pro um, Contour Palette by Hard Candy. Uh, my friend didn't like this palette, and I was like, well, shit, I'll give it a try. So, I bring it home. You know, usually I can take shitty products and still make them work, and if I didn't like it, I was going to do a review on it, and I'm going to be honest, I do not like the dark contour color. It does suck. It's really hard to blend out, especially if you have really dry skin like me. I have combination skin, like I have dry skin on the outer portions of my face and oily on the inside and that palette just wasn't working for me. But I did discover that I did like the light banana concealer shade and I discovered that instead of using it for highlight because it's just too heavy to use on your face, your whole face that it would probably work really good as an eye primer. So I started using it on my eyelids and you know packed on some eyeshadow to test it and I know this sounds crazy but it reminds me a lot of Lemonade by Benefit and that's one of my favorite products. So and I'm actually out of that right now. So I'm pretty happy that I found pretty much a legit dupe but the only thing is is that the Benefit one is a lot more silky, you know, well of course it's way more expensive, but basically this one's really, really thick. So if you're having like really dark circles or whatever, I mean, I don't know if you would want to pick up this whole entire palette just for that one little color, but if you have this and you don't like it, just know you can use that for your eyes. So, big shout out to my friend for letting me have that. Okay, so, um, what we're going to do now is, and this is inspired by the ocean. I think I'm going to call this look Ocean City. So, I was Googling up some things to call it, and I think Ocean City is very appropriate. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette, and right now we're going to go in with Tempera. I usually, before I do my eyeshadow, I usually go in with like a really light color just to um, set my eyes. Think of it as like a transition color for all of your eyeshadows. It gives you a good base to blend your eyeshadow because you already have powder laid down. We're just packing it on the eyelid. Okay, so now we're going in with red ochre or orchard. Not sure, I can't read. Fuck it. I sucked in English. And I'm going in with my BH brush. I really love this brush. It doesn't have a name or anything. I bought it in like a set. And it was when I very first started getting into makeup. And it's really, their stuff is very affordable. And I'm going to do a video on that soon too. I love BH. And um, I have, I think like one or two palettes from them. But they're both pretty good. I need to, but they're older, so I need to go get me another one. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line using any type of small brush. This is literally just kind of like a square brush that's rounded at the bottom. And just go above your eyes and wing it out. When you wing out your eyeshadow, it kind of gives you that effect of having bigger eyes and 
in order to do a cut crease, if you do not wing it out, it's just not going to look as Instagram worthy or cool in my aspect. So now we're just going to use the brush that the, comes with the palette and we're going to buff out that color. Blend it to your heart's desire. We're really trying to smoke this out. This is going to be our transition shade. My nose is always itching, I swear it is. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the darkest brown color in the palette, and that's Cypress Umber. I hope I'm pronouncing this shit right. If I'm not, fuck y'all. I don't care. <laughs> not going to be perfect. It's probably going to look like shit when you do this, to be honest. But that's the reason we get to blend. So, just go right in underneath that reddish color. I don't know if y'all can hear my cats in the background, but I swear to God, right around this time, every night, they get wilder and shit. Alright, now just start blending that out. You gotta look like a sophisticated raccoon. Sexy ass raccoon. Yeah, there you go. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Okay. Blend it out, blend it out. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna do that the home door time. I gotta get a little bit closer. Okay. Now, we're just going to, well, I mean, like, I didn't feel like it was dark enough, so I just got a tad bit, and these eyeshadows, like, you can barely touch them, and your brush is full, so I literally barely touched that, and look how much color I got. Yeah, that's awesome. I already had that one pretty dark, so I'm not going to worry about that one. And we're just going to go in with a little bit more of that um, red ochre color. It's going to make this like brick brown color. You guys are probably tired of watching me blend shit out. But you know what? I don't give a fuck because, bitches, this is what you should be doing. You gotta be blending your shit out. This is how long it takes. When girls speed up their videos, that is what they're doing. Okay, now I'm just going back in with that very, that very first base color. Tempera. And we're just gonna kind of blend that out. And I'm just gonna kind of knock off those crazy ass wings at the end of my eyebrows I dropped my camera Shh. smooth moves x -Lux. I'm so clumsy I'm surprised I'm not dead by now to be honest <laughs> I'm always dropping something falling doing something stupid Okay, so right here, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm just literally staring at my palette, wondering what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go in with 
that banana concealer and we're just going to conceal our eyelids. That is what's going to create that really hardcore cut crease lock when we go to add in our other eyeshadows. It's going to get rid of all of that fallout from when we were blending. And we're going to also follow that out with the wing and underneath. Just take your little old brush and pack it on there. It will take a minute. My eyelids, like, I don't know if this is weird to say, but my eyelids move a lot. So, like, I don't know if that's even a thing. If I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying I have weird eyelids or what, but, like, okay, for example, when girls are doing eyeliner and they say, you know, don't stretch your eye out to do your eyeliner to get a straight eye because it's not going to apply right. There is no way, and I have tried it many times many 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 times stayed up many a night trying this to just do winged eyeliner without even remotely touching my eye to stretch the skin or to hold the skin and make a straight line it just i can't like my eyelid moves with the eyeliner i'm barely touching it but my eyelid's still moving and it makes like jaggedy marks up in my eyeliner and just i can't get it even and by the time I do get it even, I look like a raccoon. So, yeah. I wonder if anybody else has that issue. Comment below if you do. I mean, I see these other girls doing their eyeliner and I'm just like, what? Okay, now going in with that a little bit more okay so now I'm just going to blend all that in just pat it out that way it doesn't stick to the eyeshadow and make it clumpy. On a smooth surface. Okay, we're gonna take that modern renaissance palette again. And we're gonna go into the bright orange color that's in the palette. I'm actually just thinking about what I was gonna do here. <laughs> I didn't know exactly what look I was going for. So this was last minute decisions right here. I kind of feel like I always make the best eye looks when I just go and whelm and do it. So we're gonna pack in the outer points of our eyelid and we're going to follow and underneath the eyeshadow that we already winged out. We're just going to really pack it on there. I want that orange to be bright. That concealer also helps the color pop. Now we're just going to blend that out just a little bit using the brush that comes with the palette. 
You don't want to blend away the line, but you just kind of want to clean it up a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to take some of my prep spray with the brush. And we're going to go in with the golden color in the palette. Gonna swap that on there. And we're gonna try to just blend those two parts together, going backwards and forth in the middle right there. Just use a backwards and forth motion. And just add some more on there. Really and truly eyeshadow is just a lot of going backwards and forth and blending. And I tend to use my fingers a lot when I do my makeup. Sometimes your finger is the best blending tool you could possibly have. Now I'm just going to pack on a little bit more orange. We kind of lost it when we were blending. I'm just going to pop in a little bit of color. A little bit more gold, shiny color. Doesn't matter, you could use white, anything. Okay, now we're gonna use this eyeliner. I think this is L'Oreal eyeliner, I'm not sure. So it's an okay liner if you're just starting out doing cat eyes. I just really don't think felt tip liners for me. I've been experimenting with eyeliner and I just recently purchased a new eyeliner. It's a tart. I don't even know. I'm going to do a video on it though. It just came in the mail today. I'm going to do a first impressions with it. It's like in a squeeze tube and it has an odd angled brush and I'm excited to use that. I just, I don't know, me and felt tip, we just have a hard time. Cause I feel like, you know, the end of it kind of stays dry and the rest of the product is, you know, towards the bottom of it. And I don't know, I'm just really not into felt tip much anymore. I'm interested in trying the Kat Von D felt tip though. Because I would figure that her eyeliner would have to be amazing. Mm, me with my eyeliner, I have not really perfected winged eyeliner just yet. So I have to go backwards and forth with concealer and blah 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 to get it just the way I want it. I wish I was blessed in the eyeliner department and just slapped it on there like it was nothing, but not quite there yet. <laughs> so 
So this right here is what really makes this whole entire beach look come together. I use the Physician's Formula eyeshadow. I'm still fixing my eyeliner here. But anyway, I use the, it's, I think it's a new, I'm, I'm going to show it. I don't know the name of it, it's, but it's Physician's Formula. And it has a bunch of, all it is is shimmer shades. Like, I think everything they have is shimmery. Like, they're bronzers and everything. But it's a shimmer shade. And, um, it's mainly all neutrals. And it has a dark brown. And it has golds. And then it has this really bright, pretty blue. The blue's the reason I bought the palette. It's a little bitty palette, but... It was worth it just to get this blue color. Now, saying that, the pow the powders work awesome wet. Like, they're really good if they're wet. And, um, I mean, they're good dry, too. Just the only thing is, they're very powdery. Like, that kind of turns me off from the palette. But, I mean, if you drop it, it's over. That thing's gonna bust everywhere. They kind of remind me of, like, a... A smolder eyeshadow like something that's supposed to smoke way out cuz I mean you can barely touch them and you know your brush is loaded so they're really like sensitive but I love them they're like the most pigmented eyeshadows ever and they're so pretty look at that blue that's like my favorite color right there that is beautiful that's what the palette looks like I've used the shit out of it. And that's my sister Gloria going to the fridge. And back to my mascara. And I'm using, this is my favorite so far. This and Roller Lash, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I'm really digging it. It's really buildable. You can, I was kind of in a hurry here, but I can really build my eyelashes up with this stuff. I haven't really got into false eyelashes yet, but I want to. I really don't know where to start. I mean, I figure, like, you know, the place to start is obviously always a drugstore. But, I don't know. I feel like, you know, as soon as I got fi fake eyelashes, I would probably be half decent at doing it. So, I'd like to get some really good ones. So, comment below if you have any preferences or something I should try. Because I feel like that would really turn up my eyeshadow game if I had fake eyelashes. That would just fix everything. Okay, now I'm just gonna use my uh, Faithful and Trusty Wet n Wild contour stick. I'm not really into the lighter shade that much, but I really like the brown color. That's my niece, Elizabeth. She's goofy. She loves making musicals and stuff. The only thing I have to say about this um, contour stick is, I mean, I love it, but I have very excessive dry skin around the outer parts of my face. I'm very combination. The inside part is oily, but the outside part isn't. And this stuff is like hard to blend on the outer parts of my face just because I'm not oily at all. So you'll like I spray my brush a lot with like prep spray or you know setting spray or whatever to get this to really blend out that's the only thing I have to say but that's just because of my skin personally it's still a good contour stick I still really enjoy it
I'm just taking my um, contour brush from BH Cosmetics to do this. I've had them brushes forever. I love them though. That's the one good thing about makeup brushes. Once you invest into them and they're good brushes, you can keep those things forever. To me, the longer you use your makeup brush, the better it is. So, that's one good thing about it. And you can never have too many makeup brushes. That reminds me, I want to pick up the Tarte Unicorn makeup brushes. That contour brush that they have is like, it looks like everything to me. I want it so bad. Um, I was watching, uh, lo uh, what is her YouTube name? Lowly, Lonely Lane or Lowy Lane or something like that. And I love her videos. I watch them all the time. Like, she has a very wide range of videos, but it's mainly beauty and fashion. And she just picked up the new um, Tarte brush set, and it when she was using it, and I seen it too. It it showed her using like the biggest brush, the pink one, like the powder brush, and she said it wasn't very dense, and it wasn't really picking up that much product. That was the only disappointing thing. But those brushes are so cheap, I would think that it would be worth it. Plus, they're so cute. They would be really cute on your vanity. So, and plus that contour brush was, was everything. So, I think it's totally worth it. Okay, and I'm using a silicone sponge to do my highlight. Or well, my, um, you know what I mean. My concealer highlight. The thing about the silicone sponge is it uses a lot less product, so that's one thing I like about it. A lot of people really don't know how to use it. What you do is you like swap with it and then you pat. When you pat, that's what blends. You gotta move the product around first. So I swap and then pat when I use that. Okay, we're gonna go in with Savage by Urban Decay. I felt like why not have a bright lip if we're gonna have bright eyes. You don't always have to tone it down. We're gonna be a party girl with this look. This is spring break. We gotta have everything's going all the way out. Sun's out, gun's out. Sun's out, badass makeup out. And I'm just gonna take in a really cute powder and just kinda dab it on there to kinda mattify it a little bit. Give it kind of a duochrome look. We're just gonna go in with my uh, everyday highlighter, the Becca Champagne Pop. And that's a really good highlighter to use for like, oh, random. I'm pretty sure that was the cat hair. <laughs> My cats get all over my shit, so I'm pretty sure that was the fucking cat hair. Just make this look really glowy. And the look's done. Guys, be sure to subscribe and become a part of this little family that I'm creating slowly but surely on YouTube. If you have a YouTube and you subscribe, I'll sub back. Just comment below. And we'll be big on here one day, guys. Bye.